Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this week's episode, the focus is gonna be working on the Performance 2F head and building it out from beginning to end on this machine right behind me. Evan, do you wanna take us through a little bit more about it? Sure. This is a TNS seat and guide machine. Uh, it was built in a little town called Gainesville, Texas, just outside of Dallas um, by a guy named Tim Whitley. Had it built uh, specifically for us. It is a fantastic machine. It's uh, new to us here. It's about eight, nine months old and it is streamlined and highly efficient. It allows us to do all of our cylinder head machining operations at one place in one machining center and uh, that's what you're about to see on this Performance 2F head and uh, start to finish machine assembly and ready to go back on the motor. So guys, if you like this process and like what we're doing with this Performance 2F, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel, like and share these videos, as it keeps us motivated to keep on filming stuff like this and building this motor out for you guys. So cheers, we'll see you in the video, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're loading the cylinder head in the seat and guide machine, and we'll remove the old valve guides first. Now we need to measure the stem size for the new valves and then go ahead and press in new valve guides to fit the oversized uh, valves that we're putting in the 2F head. Here we're installing the new guides and now we're going to level the cylinder head and true it up to the machine so we can do further machining operations. Now the head's level, we're going to run a reamer through the new guides to ream them to a final size to get clearance on the new valves. Here we're measuring the uh, guide clearance between the new valves and the ID of the valve guides. This sun and gauge will set in relation to the valve stem size and we zero it out and measure our guide clearance. Now the next step, we need to machine the old valve seats out and machine them for an oversized hardened steel seat that will accept the new large valves. Now we're going to blend the valve bowl to match the oversized seat, removing all the excess material from the original casting. And we continue on machining out for the rest of the seats to put the hardened steel seats in. more bowl blending on the exhaust seats and then a final blend by hand to complete the valve pocket. Now we're actually machining the valve seat angles into the hardened steel seats. Some more bowl blending by hand. Now we're on the valve refacing machine. This is a Quickway SVS2, and we're going to reface the new valves to make sure they're perfectly concentric and will seat properly in the new head.
Now here we're going to actually check the contact pattern of the valve seat with we'll use just a little bit of lapping compound and just lightly lap the valve so we can see where the machine contact pattern is. A little hard to see on camera, but there you have it. It's a perfect contact pattern for the exhaust valve. Now we're back on the CNC and we're setting the tool for the servicing head. And we have the head leveled and trued on the machine and we're going to come across and resurface the deck surface of the cylinder head. Alright, now we're on the assembly bench and we need to take some measurements and see what our spring pressures are and then assemble the cylinder head. Here with the Rymac spring pressure tester. And we're setting our install height and measuring what our pressures are. Valve spring inserts are placed underneath the springs to achieve proper pressure. Now we're cutting the tops of the valve guides back on the seat and guide machine for a positive modern valve stem seal. Checking fit of the new seals chamfering the inside top edge of the valve guide now the head goes back in the cooker for a final wash and rinse and the last step is final assembly Installing the modern positive valve stem seals. Valve spring inserts go underneath the springs. springs, retainers, and keepers, installing them with an overhead pneumatic valve spring compressor. There you have it, the head is ready for the motor.